Lammy here and we are about to bring you another video by Sprinkles. He brought us these supplies here for us to make miniature carameled apples. So yeah, let's show you how to do that. First though, you're going to need some apples. It doesn't really matter what color because you're going to be covering them with caramel anyway. And you'll need your caramels that you'll have to melt on the stove, so make sure you get your parents' help and permission. You're also going to need lollipop sticks, which you can find in the baking aisle of most stores. Um, you're going to need sprinkles, holiday themed, if you want to make this into Christmas ones. Um, but whatever sprinkles you'd like, it's just a decorative additive. Um, and then a melon baller. Haha, -ha, melon baller is pretty funny. It's that silver thing right there with the red handle. Uh, what that's going to do is it's going to cut out little round balls from our apples so that way they're going to be miniature so anyway guys let's show you how to do this alrighty everyone so the first thing that you're going to need to do is have some caramels they usually come in these little squares like this um, but sometimes you can find caramel in like a little plastic tub that's already melted so that would be convenient too but we are going to be melting these caramel squares first all right, so the first thing you need to do to get started is you need to melt your caramel because that is going to take the most time out of this whole process. So we have these individual caramels, caramels, however you pronounce it, um, and then here is another one, and you need to make sure that you're taking off the plastic wrapping like that and then putting them in there. Make sure you take this part off or it will be a disaster. So then what we need to do is set this on a low to medium temperature um, and let it um, heat up and it will melt the caramels. Now the important part is you don't want your caramels to burn um, and stick to the bottom of the pan, so you'll need to stir it quite a bit. We have a double broiler, which means this is a pan that you put water in the bottom and then you put this on top and the water and the steam heats this up, so that way this is not directly touching where the flame is. So if you have one of these, great. If not, all you gotta do is put your um, pan or pot or whatever you're melting these in on low and make sure you watch it and stir it, but also get your parents permission because that's always really important when dealing with the stove or anything in the kitchen okay so we have turned on the heat I'm gonna put that on a medium temperature and we're going to just let these melt now in the meantime we're gonna go back to the table and we're gonna start preparing the apples all right so while our caramel is melting I'm going to start with the apples and you can do as many apples as you want uh, red green Fuji any different kind of apple today I'm gonna to be using the green one because this is Lammy's favorite kind of apple is the granny Smith apple so I'm gonna sit this one off to the side but if you had red and green it would be very festive for Christmas and we're going to be taking a melon baller now what a melon baller is is it is this uh, spoon thing here like this and it's rounded and it's got a kind of a sharp edge not like a knife but a sharper edge so that way you can dig into fruit so this is used for um, honeydew melons regular melons watermelon it's a melon baller is what it's called basically so what we need to do is take our melon baller and we are going to dig into this apple and create little tiny bites of apple using this that are going to be rounded and sweet and then stick the lollipop stick in the top so it's going to be creating mini caramel apples so first things first let me zoom in so that way you can really see what's happening all right so i've zoomed in so you can see what i'm doing a little better so what we're going to be doing is scooping these out so you're going to take your melon baller hold your apple firm and you might need to get your parents help with this because it is a little bit difficult to do to really get it in there and you just twist like that and what you have is a perfectly little round piece of apple all right like that and you're gonna sit that off to the side because that's what you're gonna be dipping into the caramel so then you just go back into the apple and you just dig out another one see like that so I'm gonna dig out as many as I can on this apple and we'll go from there all right guys so when you're done this is what you're going to be left with is little tiny pieces of apple 
like this. And then this one I did an extra small one for sprinkles, so if he wants one, he can have that really tiny one. So this is about how many I got out of this apple, and then as you'll see, this is what it looks like. All right, and then this is what the apple looks like. Pretty cool, huh? Um, so you could eat this, bake with it, put it outside for the squirrels to eat, or just throw it away if you feel like it. And you are done with your melon baller now. Thank you to Grammy for letting us borrow her melon baller. And then what you need to do is you need to take these sticks. These are made by a company called Wilton, and there's 35 of them in here. They are technically called lollipop sticks. These are also good for cake pops and things of that nature. So I'm gonna open this and we're gonna stick the sticks <laughs> into the apples. Lemmy, what do you think so far? Oh, I sure am. Here I come. Oh my gosh, guys, look at them. Aren't they adorable? All right, so uh, Mom's going to stick the sticks in and I'm going to go check on the caramel. Okay, guys, so it looks like our caramel is doing quite well, melting very nicely. Whoa, whoa, check out that steam. This is why you got to get your help, parents' help, guys. Oh my goodness. Mom, come here. Do you need help, Lammy? I sure do. Come here. Okay, okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. All right, Lammy, I'm here. Yeah, there's a lot of steam. All right, so let's stir this up. And they're almost ready for our apples, so I gotta get back to putting the sticks in them. Come on, guys, let's go check it out. All right, guys, so I'm gonna take these sticks, get some of them out of the package, and we are going to stick them down into our apples, so that way they have, like, little handles. So it just sticks down into the apple like that. You just do it on each one of them. Sprinkles brings us the best stuff. I know, doesn't he? All right. Try to get it in the center as much as you can. And the reason why I did the domed part at the top is so that way there's a nice flat surface for them to sit up like that, and that way they don't roll all over. And it's just easier to um, let them sit up and look decorative. And if you want to, you can just hold it and twist it in like that if it's rolling around too much on the plate. Almost done. And then we have to do sprinkles, little one, and then we're totally done. Whoa. All right. One more. Well, sprinkles we're going to have to be very careful with. We don't want to break it. Oh! It fell over, Lammy. It's too heavy. The stick is too heavy for this tiny little piece. Well, maybe it'll be better when there's caramel on it. Yeah, it might be. All right, we're just going to let it lay on its side for now. Yeah, that'll be sprinkles. All right, guys, so let's go check on the caramel and see if it's ready for dipping the apples. All right, guys, so the caramel is done, so we took it off the stove using a pot holder, and we sat it on some, another pot holder. This is our Santa pot holder. We sat it on there so that way it doesn't burn the table because this little uh, part right here is very hot. Then we took some of the sprinkles that we had in this thing here. We took some of those and put them in a little dish like this so they're loose, and then we're going to start dipping the apples. This is the fun part. Yeah, I love this part. I forgot to mention, guys, another thing you can do is dry off your carameled apples a little bit so that way the caramel sticks to them better. And you can just use a spoon if you need to to help roll the caramel onto the apple. Sometimes it wants to stick better than others. So, see, there's a caramel apple. Then what we do is we dip it down into these sprinkles like this and it creates a very festive looking carameled apple, see? So they're a little festive looking. Isn't that cute? Those are adorable, Mom, I love it. All right, let's keep going. We're just gonna make a few for the video, just so you guys can get an idea of how it works. So I'm just gonna put more of this caramel on here. We're just gonna smear it on the apple do your best. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's not any big deal if it's not perfect. It's okay. I'm just gonna smear it on there the best we can. Make sure you don't burn yourself with any of the caramel. The caramel will be warm. And try to do it as fast as you can. The caramel will get warm. Okay, and then we're going to dip the caramel into here again. It doesn't have to be perfect. And there you are, another little mini caramel apple. So that is how this works. Let's make sprinkles. Yeah, yeah, make his, Mom. His is important. He's the one that brought us this stuff, you know. Yeah, I know. We gotta make his very nice. Yeah, give him a lot of caramel, Mom. I am, I am. Oh, 
Wow, he got a lot of caramel on there. Oh, he sure did. Check out that big old hunk. All right, so let's dip it into the sprinkles. Because, you know, that's where he got his name from. And there is Sprinkles' little baby carameled apple. And then you just sit it on the plate like that. And see, it sits up now. So that is how you make mini carameled apples. Alrighty, guys. So there is our mini carameled apples. Compliments of Sprinkles. Thank you so much, Sprinkles, for bringing us the supplies as always. Have you guys ever made these before? Have you ever seen them? Oh, they taste so good, I bet. I can't wait to have one. In fact, we need to stop doing this video, Mom. Why? So I can have one. You want to just dig in, don't you? I sure do. Uh, yeah, but we got to make sure Sprinkles uh, Caramel Apple stays there so that way he can come check it out. Well, that means you should leave yours so he can see yours too. Yeah, all right. I'll leave them. I'll leave them. And then uh, when Sprinkles sees them, then I'll come back and eat mine. Yeah, that's fair. He needs to see what we made. Yeah, absolutely. All righty, guys. I will let you go. It's only a few days till Christmas. I'm so excited. Uh, yeah, leave me a comment below. What are your holiday plans? Um, what do you want for Christmas? Anyway, guys, I will talk to you next time, and thanks for watching. Oh, and by the way, there will be more Christmas videos before the season is over, so don't worry. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Lammy, don't eat that. But, Mom. No, Sprinkles needs to see it first. All right. Okay, all right. I'll leave him alone. Bye, guys.